Hi, uh, let's continue where we left off from last video, okay? Uh, last video we pulled in our data and we displayed what we wanted in four different ways, different list box. Today we are going to look into filtering. And with filtering, we're going to follow certain patterns. Um, so I'm going to start with the first one here. Let me actually my marker. So with this one we're using the full node names and our filtering happens inside these uh, square brackets, okay? With this first pattern we're going to need to escape certain characters such as equal and uh, single codes. That being said, let's go back uh, into our demo. Let's close this one out and start with our first list box. All right, so let's actually take another peek here. So what we are doing here, we gain the root, we gain all the child nodes and we are filtering all the child nodes based on node name. Okay, um, for the first example, we are going to filter the data based on gender, okay? So here we have the root element, and we're grabbing all contact child nodes, including name, gender, contact info, etc. So we're going to start filtering here. So I'm going to open close my square brackets. And inside square brackets, I'm going to write the name of the node, which is gender. Let me turn the caps back on. I'm going to say equals male. Okay. And as soon as we do that, we'll get a little error. We need to, that means we need to escape these uh, special characters. Okay. So let's escape the first one. Uh, I forgot my uh, single codes here. So you need to escape each one of them. Second one and third one. So we have three special characters and we are escaping all three of them with backslash. And let's run this. As you can see, we just have the male person in there, which is John Doe. Uh, we can just easily say replace the M with F and get the female. And there you go. Let me zoom this in a little more, I guess. Okay. So for the second example, we are going to use non name equals value and this is going to be expat with these uh, double codes so in order to get that I'm going to need to remove all this stuff and I'm going to close this out here and open list box that item source tags open close inside here I'm going to going to say binding This is one place that uh, intelligence is useless than useful. Um, okay, so binding. I'm going to say uh, items, item binding source. I'm going to bind to static resource XMLDP. 
and expat. So with expat here, I'm getting the double codes. Let me close this out first. So we have the whole document. So I'm going to say, uh, get me the root. I want to get all contact elements inside the root, contact nodes. And I'm going to filter this based on name equals single quotes, open close, John Doe. And I got nothing. To put it right, and just because it's plain number. Item source. We set the item source, we filter the data. Let me ah, then close the bracket, there we. <sighs> Always something. <laughs> Let me see if I can still use a display number. I don't think I can use it, but maybe I can. Yes, display member pad we set to name. And there you have it. So that's filtering by name. So we got the root, contact, and inside square brackets, set name equals John Doe. So anytime you have text, you're going to use uh, single quotes here, the value, around the value. But we don't need to escape the special characters as we did here okay all right so that's the second example let's go to our next example let's move my window over here over here we're going to filter by uh, ID all right let's go to our third example here and cross this out. So we are going to need uh, attribute. It's going to be inline. We need to set the attribute to value. Okay. So basically, Over here, we are, with star, we gain all the root elements. Well, there's only one root element. And with the slash star, we gain all these contact nodes. Uh, basically, same as, doing the same as, root contact, you know. You can replace this with contact if you want to, but uh, basically, it's the same thing, star getting all the elements in there and here we're going to open close our brackets we're going to say id is an attribute if you remember id is an attribute and we need the add symbol say id equals one and we got error that's because we need to escape this character so we got number one here or we can say uh, greater than one, and we'll get number two. Okay, say greater than zero, we'll get all of them, I think. Uh, that didn't happen. All right. So let's go back to, oops. Uh, when we do greater, it's kind of tricky, kind of thinks the our sentence ends there, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna set back to two. And that's that. For the next one, we're going to filter by typos 
phone numbers, whether it's a cell or work number. Okay, so again, we have, uh, we're getting root here, slash, we're getting all the contact nodes, slash, we're getting all the, uh, the next one is contact info, and we are getting all the info, grandchildren's. So if you say this is the parent node, root, the next child node is the contact, and these three are grandchildren of the root, and the info is the grand-grandchildren of the uh, root element. Okay, so let's filter this based on open close our square brackets and let's say type, attribute type equals cell. And to escape these. And we didn't even have to escape the other two. That's odd. All right, but let's, just to be safe, let's escape it. Actually, let's do this same way we did over here. Let's do the item source. Um, so, let me close this over here. And the list box item source. Open close. Still binding. Get rid of this binding source. Going to be a static resource. It's an LDP. Expat is going to be it's going to be star 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 slash star and filter. So a type equals open close single quotes. And we'll type in cell. All right, what is this complaining about? List box. We need to close list box here. All right, and we lost it. Wonder why. Let me build this. We lost our data. So when we get in the Attribute value. Oops. Just. Let me clear this filter. Because I don't have a square bracket here. Okay, let's start with this. So star root slash all contact nodes slash all contact info. No, that's uh, still inside the uh, contact, all the elements slash got the phone numbers and let's start filtering. 
type equals close that and so all right okay I guess I made a mistake somewhere so let's rebuild this and run it build successful let's run it and we have our filtering in place we filtered the by gender filtered by name filtered by id and filtered by font type all right so that should do it for this demo thanks for tuning in see you in the next